going to be here in the mid lane. Oh, the Lissandra getting locked in. So that is a response to the Jinx. Yeah. And all, it's actually a response to the LeBlanc has been away. I mean, Trace still really only played two champions this season. Going back to that Maokai again. Oh, oh and there's a flash and the ultimate coming from Kuzan. What a combo with the mid laner by Jin Air Green Wings. Good communication between Kuzan and Chase. Actually activates the creep. And now... Well, I mean, Catch oh. is really low, so Kuzan can just come in. There's the hook, so Catch has to run away <laughs> right into Chaser. Oh, man, the depth charge <laughs> picks up. The kill. Kuzan gets to bring a frost and go forward from there. Che gets caught as Catch shows up in the bottom lane. Now Glacial Prison is available. There's the play and the Glacial Prison. There's the Super Mega Death Rocket. Can they get the kill onto Captain Jack? Not going to be enough as Captain Jack runs away with Summoner Heal. That was a good setup. Up because he's so scared constantly of that lane gank coming in. Right. Oh, and there's the flash of the Depth Charge and the Lissandra Ultimate. Sasin just gets locked up, cannot move. They're still go. Narrowly dodges that one, but Nuclear left all alone. Chase is just trying to deny that latch, and yeah, Nuclear doesn't have an answer for that one. Meanwhile, Vivid got caught because of that. Who's on cha tra charging forward? Excuse me, Glacial Prison and Flay, though, he got a little too Oops. eager at the Lantern Shield and the Tower Shield, helping Vivid stay alive. Yeah, nice return kill. Here comes the teleport from So, and the equalizer's up every skill available. Meanwhile, Kuzan actually gets caught first. Vivid with the Lantern, but he actually brings Soul in, and Soul just gets caught with the Ring of Frost. Meanwhile, catch all the way up front. There's the Glacial Path, doesn't go over the wall, but there is still the Zonias coming in. Chaser is going to be able to run out. Nuclear gets the reset, though, and he gets the second crit. On to Captain Jack, he's just charging forward, and the chain is gonna get the snare onto Chain Nuclear going for the third one. Sasin picks that one up, and what a turnaround by Spenu Sonic. But and that's a three-man gang. Yeah, they're fully committed to this one. They should be able to get it one way or another. Now, how does Spenu react to this one? Three members gone, the entire front line gone from the Jinner Greenway. So they're just gonna try to shove up this bottom lane. The mini it's a good investment. Wow, they're targeting Soul once again. They know the flash is down. There's the Righteous Glory. There's the slow. And Soul just doesn't have an answer to this. Equalizer goes down again, but you know you're not picking those kills up. Are you going to lose the Baron, though? Yeah, well, he's just trying to draw it enough time. There's a Void Rush coming in from Chaser. Trace finally gets the kill, and it looks like the Baron does have to That's be stopped. That's so risky. Wow. Yeah, you. Well, I mean, Spenno also kind of had to go for it. Generic Greenwings, can they go in for the steal and the fight? And Catch really wants to secure this dragon at this point. I mean, both teams have to commit to this dragon. Who's going to get the smite battle first? And it's going to be Nuclear with the kill on that one. And they lock up Kuzan. Kuzan has to use his ult on himself. Vivid flashes out. Catch all the way up front gets targeted. Oh, and the Super Mega Death Rocket. He timed it, but the Zonius comes in. So Nuclear doesn't get a reset. He's getting targeted by Trace. He'll still be able to get that kill and escape as Sasin helps him with that one. Shutdown goal. Hanging out with the team. And Sasin going to catch Che out just a little bit. There's a the hook, and he still gets snared. There's a Hook coming in from Vivid. Oh, he actually jumps in. There's the play, but Captain Jack right there. And there's a Glacial Prison onto Kuzan. Kuzan gonna get caught, but he uses an old ultimate right now. Nuclear in the back. Sasin just in the back all the way, trying to run away. Nuclear gets caught. Eventually goes down to Trace. There's no peel for him at that point. And Sasin also gonna get caught. No, he's gonna double distortion. Away. The smite has been used. So Spenu was already hitting that dragon, but there we go. Nuclear all the way in the back. And Trace zoning out three members. Once again, Catch has to Arctic Assault over the wall. And there's a hook onto the trap. But there's the flash forward from Kuzan. He zones out three members. QSS used by Nuclear to escape there. Ring of Frost. And Kuzan with the zone is denied that damage. There's a flash from Soul. There's the hook coming in from Vivid just to keep his teammates alive. But Soul will be cut off. Can they catch any? Any more members, Zap not going to connect. Oh, the Lantern, it does save him. I thought that last Boomer might be coming in and catch. Can he get away? Chaser putting down some good slows onto this one. And there's the hook on catch. The Equalizer back already, but not going to be the answer. Meanwhile, Sasin got caught looking for another sneaky angle from the side. But he can't find it before Trace gets to him. And he's just trying to distort back oh! up. Whoa, what a kill from Sasin. Nope. He does eventually get caught, though. Yeah, burns the ignite. There we go. Spenu's really chunking down this bear, and it's a third way there through. There is a Void Rush coming in, and the box comes in, but there's a Depth Charge onto Soul. The Equalizer not doing too much, but it does lock up Trace. There's a Glacial Prison, but an instant double kill coming in for Kuzan as Nuclear is left to fend for himself in enemy territory. Everybody's been doing this against Spenu Sonic Boom. <laughs> and kill contribution in this game. 19 kills and he's been part of every single one. Fantastic jungle performance.
really well done, and the generic Green Wings now will be pushing in for the win against the Nexus Turrets at 45 minutes. Jack a little bit hungry for more action, but the Jinair Green Wings start the match with a win in the first game. And I really feel bad for spending Sonic Boom because they are better than their record suggests. And they've had such a hard schedule to start this yeah. season that I'm very curious when we see them play teams like I am and Anarchy, how they're going to do because they show such great control in the early and mid game. Their vision is good, it's just they they fall apart when some really tough decisions have to be made, and they, they just get out mind game by their opponents, like we saw right there. Yeah. But as they grow and they learn how to deal with some of these situations better, they're going to be able to actually snowball these games into wins. So maybe by the end of the season, we can see them start taking a game or two off of uh, teams like Janair. Very true, and that's what we saw in the spring season. A lot of these newer rosters struggled a little bit in the first half, and then they climbed back in. I mean, KT now definitely commended as one of the stronger